my goal, okay, when yeah. I'm working with somebody, is that they will never be outposed by anybody. Oh, yeah. That's my goal. My people will never be outposed by anybody. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Think Big Bodybuilding Media. I'm Scott McNally, and today it's my great pleasure to introduce to you posing coach Kenny Wallach. What's up, man? I'm so grateful to have you here, brother. Hey, Scott. Hi, everybody. Hey, uh, I want to get this thing started right here. Hold on a second. You got to get the... Uh, all right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> now, we're, now we're ready to go. Now we're ready to go, man. That's beautiful. In case you didn't know, I'm a, I'm a big fan, Kenny. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Ditto, brother. Ditto. I, I, I really do. I love your work, man. You know, I met you uh, through Shelby Starnes. And then I, I had hired you for uh, a show that I was doing, and subsequently had hired you, you know, a few times uh, during my preps. You're like my go-to guy for posing, and thank you. You know, I mean, I, I'm a state level guy. I love, you know, competing. I love having fun with it. I know I'm not, you know, your uh, your top level competitor. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. You have given me the same consideration it made me feel good about myself and saw the good things about my physique even though i'm just like your average guy and that's huge man i i guess the thing is is that what i see in you you really love bodybuilding and you see the positive in people and i feel like that that's uh that's that's the magic to me of kenny wallach right there at least oh, part of it you, brother. I really appreciate that, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, it's, you know, we all, you know, we all start somewhere, you know, and we're, you know, everybody has their own individualism as far as, you know, what they want to achieve and where they start, where they end up, what, you know, and to me, you know, that's the biggest thing is to not worry about levels huh. of where people are, you know. Uh, treat everybody the same because you know what we're all in this in the same way. Yeah, you know uh, You know circumstances may be a little bit different depending on what the level is But you know what we're all still human beings and we all still go to the gym and we train and we do what we need to do and So that's why like I've always Always went about it with the mindset of everybody is equal hmm. From my beginner to my Olympian. I train everybody I I work with everybody as if they're getting ready for the Olympia. You do. You do too, man. You know, because there's no other way. You have to show yourself your best hmm. at all times. And it doesn't vary, you know, like I said, from the first time competitor, I want them to seem like they've been competing for 10 years hmm, with man. the way they present themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, and, and I love it, you know, and I love it. And you know, when you make people when you bring people to their full potential at that given moment, yeah. there's nothing better for me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, listen, when you, you know, here's here's what I've noticed, Kenny. Uh, my experiences with you, every time that I've ever talked with you, you know, every time we've met, I walk away feeling better. Like, I feel, I feel happy. I'm in a good mood. You always do that to me. You have this thing. It's kind of infectious. And I see that when I, you know, I've had clients that have gone to work with you and they get so freaking pumped after they've worked with you. And you know what, <laughs> even you. even the posing aside, let's not even talk about the logistics of what makes a good pose. Let's talk about the mindset for a minute. When you can make somebody feel that confident, you know, that that's huge, man. Get somebody to step on stage feeling like they're already a champion, man. I mean, that's yeah. that's a trick in itself right there. It really and I know you're not like I know it's like you're intentionally trying to do that, but you know, it is a big part of it, I think. Well, thank you. You know, and that, you know, but like I said, you know, like you know, to go into something and feeling intimidated mm. is the is a it, it could be the worst thing for you, especially like when you're just starting out, you know. Yeah. And you know, to give somebody that confidence and you know, and to make them feel like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock this thing. Yeah. I'm yeah. at my best, you know? And that's why, like for me, you know, when it's not about winning for me. Uh, you know what I mean? It's not the win for me is having my people post their absolute best. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And bringing their, like I said, their 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 body, their physique at its full potential at that given moment and then have them feel good on stage while they're doing it, that's the win for me. And then winning is just icing on the cake. It's extra. Yeah. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? Because, you know, look, you know how it is. 
you know, not everybody wins and not, you know, it's just uncontrollable, whatever. So, but when you bring somebody and they leave that building after they're done, no matter where they placed, proud of themselves Mm -hmm. and holding their heads up high because they were perfect on stage, no matter what the outcome, there it is. There it is. Yeah. And listen, as, as the posing coach. There are so many things that are out of your control. A, you're never going to be able to control what the judges, you know, decide what they what they want that particular day. B, you're not in control of their conditioning. You're not in control of their level of muscularity. You may be able to help them show that at their best, but yeah, if you were to go in uh, it just expecting a win, then and, and that being a success, then I'm sure that you would uh, you would probably you know struggle to be you know as as happy as you are with what you do because I know that you get a great deal of satisfaction out of this man. This is not just a job to you. Yeah, no, you're right. It is. It's it's my life. Yeah, it's my it life. is. I see that. You know, and and you know, and that's where, like when I work with my people. And look, and not only that's coming, you don't know who's going to show up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't know who's going to show up at any of these shows. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you go in at a hundred percent and let the cards fall where they may. You know. But when you're at 100 percent and like I said, you're posing perfectly on stage, you know, yeah. then it, it, the rest rocks itself, you know. So but, yeah, it is my life, man, you know, and uh, I, and I'm just blessed to be able to do this, you know. Yeah. Would you now I know you you had competed yourself. You had a great physique. Um, Thank you. Had you ever saw yourself getting to this position where you're going to be the posing coach that you are today? Had you always had a like a love for posing? Yes. Um, it started, I literally started helping people back in 1983. Okay. Um, my first show, uh, you know, I studied the game since I was 14, which was, uh, you know, 70 in my freshman year in high school. And uh, I got introduced to the, to the uh, workouts and I always liked it, but never to that. And then somebody introduced me to a magazine. Yeah. Uh, my sophomore year. And that was it. Game over. That magazine uh, became my uh, school workbooks. Huh. So I would bring the magazine to work to school with me, b- hiding behind my textbooks. <laughs> and that's and that's what it knew. I just knew that it was going to be what I was going to do in some way. Yeah. Uh, back then, I thought it was going to be as a competitive bodybuilder. Okay. And so, but then I collect more magazines and study and study and study all the guys from you know the. 1979, 78, going into the Mr. Olympia, 1981. Yeah. And I just, I would cut them out and laminate the car, the pictures. Really? And and study the names yeah. of these and look, you know. Um, it was, and that was it. That was it. Game over from that point on. Well, so what do you think about uh, the classic division? That's something that's come up in the last few years, and uh, I, I, I imagine that yeah, your heart would have to be you know tied to that to an extent. It's a total throwback. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Uh, so you know, for me, I mean, the way it's now, it's almost like I'm starting from my roots in high school all over again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because and and I'm just I just love it. So it's really cool. You know. Yeah. At, at the same time, though, man, I've seen you. Do a lot of great work with uh, you know all all the divisions across the board. Uh, do you have a favorite division that you work with? No, they're all they're all uh, they're all the same to me because each one is so different. Huh? You know what I mean? So and it allows me to be a little bit more creative in different ways. Okay. Especially when I'm working with the women. Okay. You know I can use my creativity and uh, in ways that it it it's hard to really describe, but what I can do with different genetics is huh. what I love about it. Okay. You know what I mean? Because um, that's, well, I mean, that's the whole essence of the sport anyways, to pose to your genetics. Yeah. And so it allows me to be really creative like that and bring out the best, you know, like I said, the full potential. I think that's the key is to bring out the full potential of each physique. Yeah. No matter what level no matter what category and it's so satisfying to me let's talk uh let's talk you know somebody in particular let's talk like uh natalia coelho you know you started working with her this past year yeah what, and you know she just did fantastic at the arnold classic shout out to her i know she she listens to some of our shows um yeah. what did you change about her posing this year um what i did was um i i gave her 
I, I made her more relaxed looking. I opened her up a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, and you know, I gave her more, I, I brought in a little bit more contour to her posing. Okay. Okay. You see what I mean? And, um, you know, she was just an absolute diamond to work with. Yeah. 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 Um, we had, we have, it was just really, uh, very mutual. We went back. It wasn't me say you do. It was me say, here's why. And let's try it. And then we worked with it. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, that's how I am with everybody anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but especially with her, you know, it was really good because, uh, I got to down, during the winter, I lived down in Florida for a few, couple of months okay. just to chill, you know? And so I was able to go to her house and work with her, you know, like once a week prior to us doing our Skype sessions. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause we, you know, and then as we got, we, our Skype sessions, we were able to, you know, tweak a little bit as things changed, you know, yeah. but I think that's what I did mostly. Um, and she took to it like a fish to water and, uh, you know, worked out well. So I, I want to step back for just a minute and not even talking about her in particular, but just to kind of look at this, it's a, it's a very, I guess, um, if, like if my mom were watching this show, she wouldn't understand what you mean. When you say it, it clicks to me. But when you say like bringing more contour, what, what does that even mean? I gave her more shape in her posing. Um, you know, instead of being so straight up and down or, or you know, two sideways or whatever, yeah. we rounded it off. We gave it more flow. Okay. You see what I mean? And, uh, and it just kind of really, it fit. You know what I mean? Okay. It, it really fit. And so, but every, you know, everybody's different. You know, not everybody can pose with contour. That's the, ah. that's the beauty. That's the thing. Not everybody can pose like that. So what I saw in her is what, you know, from the beginning, from seeing her in different pictures, I knew what I was going to do yeah. before we met. Okay. Because I got to see her, see pictures of her. Yeah. So I was dying to work with her because I knew what we could do together. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, but not everybody has that type of flow or that type of genetic shape where they could pose like that. Okay. That's why the individual genetics is such a major deal for me when I work with, you know, it's almost like working with a, you know, do you want to work with marble? Do you want to work with granite? Do you want to work with clay? (laughs) You know, each has their different, uh, you know, things. Yeah. It's, it's so individual. I get it. It's, it's so individual. So, you know, what would you say are, uh, are some of the things that you think, you know, just in general, if when you watch a show, what are some of the things that you think people are doing maybe they they shouldn't be doing well you know look um i a lot of people shortchange themselves huh. that's the thing for me um i'm looking at these athletes again from all levels thinking to myself that they could just give so much more than what they're bringing to stage huh. you know and you know i mean i'm looking and i think that's that's the biggest thing is that they just they're not again that that full potential they're not bringing their bodies their physiques to full potential and um you know when somebody has an extra five pounds to give okay visually oh and they're not giving it i see that's yeah so that's where i come in you know i you know i've everybody brings a good 80 percent 85 percent to stage huh um what i like to do is bring that that last 15 10 percent Okay. 15% to the stage to bring them to 100% potential. Okay. Yeah. You see what I mean? And I noticed that and, and it, you know, it's all right, but you know, there's certain times where, you know, that extra 15% that they bring to stage could, that could be the extra zero in their paycheck winnings. Yeah. That could be the extra two zeros. That could be an Olympia qualification. That could be a, a title. Yeah. You know, um, it could be a national qualifier, you know, so I, I I would love, you know, that's the thing that I see the most is just short of bringing full. Mm, Okay. That's got to be kind of frustrating, I'm sure, especially when you see, like, if we're talking pro level, I mean, every single person on that stage is genetically gifted, you know? Correct. 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 And yeah, so, I mean, I see it and, you know, I just, you know, um, I don't really get, I used to when I was younger, 
I'm like, oh my God, he's so much good. He, uh, I could only, you know. Yeah. But now, you know, I'm like, hmm, a little bit more to go. Maybe, you know, he'll come my way or she'll come my way, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. How often is it that somebody brings that 100%? Yeah, so we all can no. improve. That's the answer then. We all can yeah. always improve is what it comes down to. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. You know? Um, yeah, absolutely. So it's, I, you know, I could, nobody. That's a story of hope right there is what that is. Meaning, you know, you think about it that we can always all be striving for better. Sure. My goal, okay, when yeah. I'm working with somebody is that they will never be outposed by anybody. Oh, yeah. That's my goal. My people will never be outposed by anybody. Okay. Um, you know, at the very, very least, mm -hmm. you know, it'll be it'll be the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At the very least, but they will never be outposed by anybody. I make sure of that. You know, when it when it actually comes to posing, you know, the actual poses, what what are your thoughts? Why is it so hard for people to hit their back properly? Because I feel like that's what a lot of people stick with. Because they're not taught right. Huh. Okay. It's not. It you know a lot of the times you hear you got to have that mind body connection mind body connection yeah yeah nothing could be further from the truth on that huh it's to me as far as I'm concerned a yeah. back shot is mechanical huh there's no muscle buying you know especially when it comes to opening up the lats okay it's it's a mechanical issue it's not a mind body I can't connect it really this doesn't want to do that my you know my you know this or that it's yeah really yeah. Huh. That's what I've come up with through the years. Okay. Because all the time you hear, you got to connect with it. Think of it. You got to be you know mind body connection. No. Huh. Once you once you do it mechanically, you could do it in your sleep. I've seen a, a video of yours too. They, and I don't know how how old it was, but it you, was very old. Was yeah. it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. The, where you where you talk about the back? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You talk about posing the back, and um, it's funny because I'm working with a girl who just had the hardest time. She'd get one lat to stick out and then the other one was flat and you know she'd pin her shoulders back. Everything she could do outside of giving a nice V shape, she did. And I sent her a link to that link. I was like, hey, just check this out. She checked it out and boom, next day she she had it. Yeah, yeah, that, that one, that lat tape was, uh, it's outdated, but it still works to this day. Yeah. You know, my techniques have changed a little bit because I evolve as well. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't really, uh, you know, I it, it, ev it evolves to where I could communicate it and transfer the uh. knowledge verbally much more accurate and better so it connects. And there's so many different ways because you have to have so many tools in your tool belt for one thing. Huh. Because if one thing doesn't connect, you know, huh. probably then you've got to try to describe it another way. Yeah, then yeah. You have to try, you know, and then, so I have all these things in my belt that, you know, I was able to develop through the years, you know? Yeah, and, and I guess that's kind of what it comes down to. I know that, I, you know, I've seen people that, you know, I wasn't able to help. It can be frustrating if you're like, you know, you just got to do this. You just got to bring that out. But I guess, I guess, yeah, the, the key is, is being able to communicate that. I guess that's, that's really, I guess, what you are as a communicator then. Well, that, that's why my Skype business and my FaceTime business works is so well because ah. I've developed the, you know, the ability to be able to go different avenues verbally yeah. to make something understood and make it work. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, it's funny because soon I'm going to put out a post of five minute lat spread transit transitions okay where i was able to take somebody and five minutes show them the after picture i'm going to put up a cool post with that that's cool yeah keep me posted i want to see that if oh, we I definitely will if we get it in time i want to i could drop it in right here on the video too so that everybody else can see that as well hey what's going on guys scott here i want to jump in with a brief shout out to our great sponsors first of all thank you so much as off for advertising with us here at advices radio Oh, what's that, guys? You said you don't know what a nootropic is? Oh, well, let me tell you. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say that. But seriously, guys, if you aren't familiar with nootropics, which I'd be surprised if you're not, considering that you listen to Advice as Radio, I feel like we've got some pretty smart listeners here. I'm going to read you a definition. Nootropics are drugs, supplements, or other substances that may improve cognitive function, particularly executive function like memory, creativity, or motivation. And I'll tell you what, Azoth does 
all of those things for me. This is a fantastic blend and I get a lot out of it. You know, I use it when I, when I get more stuff done at work. I also use it just for other things. Like it's great for training. If you want to get like that leg day in and get that super driven focus, take it about like, oh, we'll say 40 minutes before you train and tell me you don't experience a difference. I take it when I go on a long drive. It, I, I just get relaxed. I sit back and I'm just kind of plugged in and more focused on what I'm doing, getting more out of the experience than I would have otherwise. So check it out. And plus, if you do, you can support our programming. So it's like a win-win. You get to get more stuff done in life and you get to support Advice as Radio. So I've got links in uh, all of our descriptions, whether you're uh, at YouTube or at the website advicesradio.com. There's even a link to get some for free. If you haven't tried it before, Prady has a rebate. So check it out and also check out their other products, Total Focus and Pure Energy. Both of those feature the new ingredient, Zynamite. All right, guys, I'm almost finished, but I also want to shout out our other sponsor, truenutrition.com. I'm going to tell you a little fact here. This is something I didn't know. Skip knew this. I didn't know this. So if you order five pounds of protein from True Nutrition, here's what they do. First of all, they measure out five pounds of protein. And after that, they add the additional flavorings in. So what you end up getting is going to be like a six pound bag. If you were to go into the store and buy five pounds of protein uh, from you know, whatever it is, G and C, for instance, you get five pounds. It's actually going to be more like four pounds of protein plus the additives. So you're already getting a really good deal because True Nutrition charges what's just about wholesale rates. And on top of that, you're getting extra protein. So you can't beat that. They're high quality. Everything's third party tested. Dante Trudell is a dude that if he told me like, hey, go lay down on those railroad tracks. I promise you, you won't get hit. I would believe that. And I think a lot of us in bodybuilding would. And there's a reason for that because he's a stand up dude. Anyway, I don't know how I got to that, but somehow I did. Anyway, guys, check out truenutrition.com. They are a fantastic company. I've believed in them since long before they sponsored us here at Advices Radio. Use our code ADVICES. That will get you a discount, and it will support our programming. Guys, I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for listening to my ads. I hope you had some fun. I know I did. Let's get back to the show. Have you seen a, a shift in in what like the, what the judges are looking for? I know people are always talking, you know, about like, oh, this is what they want to see now. And how do, how does that uh, how does that well, play into what you do? That really doesn't affect me, okay? Because I'm not responsible for their conditioning, okay, or their size. I'm okay. responsible for how they present it, okay. So you know, I, you know, and. Don't forget now, I've been a judge for 10 years in the state of Connecticut. Okay, yeah. You know, yeah. I was head judging, so I know exactly what they want because we're all on the same page. Yeah, yeah. I know what the judges want, you know, and so, you know, I need to bring out what the judges want to see in their posing, you know, and again, have that happen so they could hit their full potential and not have to worry about that. So, you know, that was how they present themselves. But, you know, the judges... It's that's more of a you know a size thing mm. or a conditioning thing or whatever. But their posing is always going to be the same as far as they making them look their absolute best. Okay, okay. Is there a way that you can either like play up conditioning or play it down through posing? Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, of course. Okay, yeah. So if if they were to say want <laughs> like less hardness in females, then so that's that's going to be something where you may actually tell somebody like, okay, you're looking at them, you're saying like, okay, don't squeeze your hamstring in this shot or something like that. Then yeah, like like for instance, well, you know, bikini. Yeah. Okay, bikini. So you know, so you got some girls that you know they, you know, they hit a, a bikini shot and their legs are so incredible that their hamstrings are practically touching the judges, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so, so you manipulate that. So in that respect, knowing what the judges want as far as like the conditioning and stuff like that, in that respect, I can control uh, what their hamstrings will look like or, you know, mm -hmm. don't squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes, you know, depending on what it is. Again, it's all genetic and what they look like. Yeah. You know, if the judges don't want to see straight glutes, then you don't bring give them straight glutes. Yeah, I almost you feel know? like those divisions, say bikini or men's physique, there's almost like almost like less room for error because you only have a couple shots that you're hitting. Is that would you agree with that? Well, yeah. I mean, look, I mean, men's physique, you have two poses. Yeah. Bikini, you have two poses. So, you know, you screw one up, you're 50% out. Yeah, yeah. 
You know what I mean? You can't make it up for, you know, an outstanding rear double bicep and a great ab shot and a mm. great most muscular front, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, there's a lot less room for error. So you better nail them, mm. you know? And and that's what I love about it, too. I love that. Yeah. You know, I love, make, you know, th- that challenge huh. of making something, you, you know, there's like no room for error. Wow, yeah. You know, I don't. I mean, I don't leave any room for error. Anyway, sure. You know what I'm saying? That pressure. I love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that challenge, man. You know, but um. So yeah. So you know, according to what you know, it's going to be more about bikini hmm. than men's physique. Men's physique, you have a certain look, and you work with their genetics on what makes them. You know, but you know, you got to be very careful. You know, you want them to keep the waist small. You want to keep the glute. You know, blah blah yeah. blah. You know, so it's cool, man. I really. It's just fantastic. I'm just, I'm getting all juiced up. Man, I've I'm seen you. Su- sweating. Dude, I, I see you at the shows and you are on the edge of your seat. You know, we talk about that. You talk about that pressure. I, I can only imagine, man, how you must feel when you watch these things go down. I've seen it go really well. I've seen you on top of the world. And then there's been times where I've been like, oh, it's not time to talk to Kenny right now. You know, give yeah. him his space, you know? Yeah, no. And, and it is. I mean, look, I mean, uh, you know, this is for me everything. Yeah. You know, these shows, I go into it, it's it's game on, full throttle. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, just like any, you know, Super Bowl coach or Stanley Cup or, you know, any type of, you know, coach in championships, to me, every show is a championship. Huh. It's a Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that intensity, I can't help it. It's just me. <laughs> I love that, You know man. what I mean? Yeah. But um, I just love it, man, you know? And... uh yeah, so like you said, sometimes it goes well, sometimes not so well. There are times to talk to me and times not to. Time to give you a little you know? bit of space too, which a little space. I, I yeah. respect I mean, that, man. It's, you know, obviously you, 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 you know, you, like you said at the beginning, you can't have all wins and it's not something you can control, but it doesn't mean you're not going to feel it, you know? Right, but I don't even get upset like at the at the like somebody taking second place. Yeah. Or whatever. It's not that. Yeah. You know, like I'll you know, I don't, you know, I mean, I get quiet when I, when I'm a little down, like yeah. I'm not, I don't go crazy. I get quiet. I go in my little space. Um, because if I know that my competitor could, competitor could have done better up there, mm-hmm. that's when I get uptight. Okay. Okay. You know, that's when I get uptight. Um, you know, it's more on the pro level sure. than on, you know, a, a local or regional level because, you know, they're newbies or they're not experienced and they get a little nervous. But I get a little uptight on a pro level and a, t- and a national level yeah. because if they have been hitting it while I've been working with them. Yeah. And like when I see, when I'm at a national show or I'm at a pro show, I will literally go into their room or they come in my room and I do polishing up session. I advertise, you know, come to my room, polish up session, Make sure you're perfect so you yeah. can go on stage. And then if I am able to go backstage and they're nailing it, I'm, I, you know, we're there. I'm there the whole way. Yeah. You know? So I only get uptight when my people who have been hitting it correctly, mm. perfectly, and they're on stage and they lose it, um, that's when I, that's when I'll get a little uptight. You know what I mean? And I, I bet you, you know what? That's something that probably nobody else notices because they're, it's not like they missed the pose altogether. You know what I mean? It's not like they forgot how to pose completely. It's whatever little nuances that you were specifically looking for. What that it, we worked on, that we have been working yeah, on. Yeah, that maybe you the see, nerves and, got to them or something. Right. And But that's the thing. Like like I said, you know, at a national level show, yeah. I'll get uptight. Pro level show, I'll get uptight. Yeah. I won't go nuts on anybody, of course not, because everybody makes mistakes. Of course. But it's something that I internalize. And like you said, I just need my space to kind of let it go and then – you know, just remind my people what had happened and then we just make it better for the next show. Right on, man. That you sounds good. I mean? You could, you you make it constructive. It sounds like you don't internalize it. It's not your fault. You don't blame them either. You just no, recognize though that what could be done different, which is at the end then, of the day, that's what's important, right? Absolutely. And then we make it happen. You yeah. know what I mean? It doesn't make sense and it, it doesn't help to sh- get emotional mm. on a negative level. Yeah. People don't need that shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. if they know that they did something, they don't need salt. They don't need salt added to it. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they 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 already know. So we say, okay, it happened. Here's what you did, and here's what we're going to do next time to fix it. Yeah. And then we go try and we get that win, or we get that pro card, 
or we get that qualification, something. You know what I mean? How many? We get that added zero to their to your paycheck after you win yeah. something on a pro stage. I, you know, I see you posting how many pro cards you've gotten with people, how many people you've helped that have turned pro. How, where where are you at now, if you know offhand? Um, right now I'm at three hundred and three. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Last last year I ended the season off, but three hundred. That's in four years. Oh, five years. That's five, five years? years. Okay. Five years. I have three hundred and three. Yeah. Uh, pros. When I did it last year, I ended up at three hundred one, and then in November, after I put my year my year in review or whatever, yeah. somebody got their pro card at, like, I think, no, it was December. Okay. And, you know, I don't put Winter Wednesdays up anymore, you know? And then I had a pro card winner out in, I think, Canada. Oh, no, South America. Okay. This early year, and she won. So now I'm at 303, but that's just in the five years. That doesn't count the ones before that. Yeah. Because I worked with Evan. I worked with Guy's sister Nino. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I worked with Evan his very first, con- his, you know, till he up his, all the way up until he won his uh, New York Pro. No kidding. Who who was the first person pro? that you turned that you helped turn pro? I actually think it was Evan. Yeah, you think if you I'm you not because yeah, there's <laughs> you can't remember now. That's funny, yeah. man. Because there's been just a, a long line of people that you've been able to help. So yeah, I, I so can only imagine I, I, how exciting that would have been. Oh my god, I was out of my skin, dude. I could only imagine. I was out of my skin, especially you know. And again, like the first year I ever competed. He won one one. You know, junior nationals, this and this. Everything was going great. Yeah, and then. uh Desmond, I forgot his last name, but you know Evan took second at his very first nationals. Yeah, and then next year we won it. That's cool. The man. whole thing. That's yeah. Cool. So, and then Guy Cisternino, I think, was this uh, year after that. Okay, man, he's come such so, a long way in his physique. Would you ever have thought that his upper body would have caught up the way it has? I mean, he always had those wicked legs, but he's come up so much, hasn't he? Yeah, he really has. You know, um, yeah, he he's just, and we're still working together at this day. You know, right on, man. Twelve years, you know, so yeah, he's awesome. That's cool, man. It's like a kid brother to me. I I feel like um, just the just talking to you here now, it makes sense to me uh, how much of what you do is about communication. Um, I I've talked to people who have said to me like, "Oh, you can't do a good posing session on Skype." I've heard people say that, you know, yeah, that, that you you can't do it, and I suppose that it's that that person isn't able to communicate maybe they need to take your arm and turn it physically you yeah, know and 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 let me let me address that because that's a really big thing okay you know that's a really big thing because um a lot of people mistake in person as being better automatically than a skype session uh-huh but the thing is knowledge is knowledge if you can't teach it in person you ain't going to be able to teach <laughs> skype and i get it yeah you know what i mean but you know, and again, I'm not knocking anybody. That's not my style. Yeah. You know, but I will say this. You know, I have a ton of people, and I will like last year. Okay, eighty eight percent of my eighty six pro cards last year were all via FaceTime. Really? Yeah, eighty eight percent, and I had eighty six pro cards last year. It's a good statistic. Okay, I had like four hundred and forty six class wins. Okay. Two hundred and twenty nine overalls. Yeah. Just last year. Yeah. And, and, you know, I'm not saying that the other ones, my, my pro cards are what I'm focusing on, right. 88%. But a lot of people make the mistake that just because it's in person, that's going to be better. And mm. I could see that. But like you said, it's about communicating. And that's why my my online business has been so successful because yeah. I, know how to, I know how to transfer the knowledge verbally. That's your gift. That's that. I'm seeing that now, well, man. You. That's your gift. Then that really is that you're able to communicate. You know, communication is something I feel like those of us. Mm-hmm. I, I'm obviously a communicator, and I feel like those of us yeah. who are good at communicating, we can sometimes take it for granted that, like, well, you just do that. Mm-hmm. But not everybody can do that, and I think that that's honestly what allows you to do what you do. You can see what you're seeing, but then you can also process mm-hmm. it, turning it into language. Not only turning it into one language, but as you just said. You can turn it into maybe two or three languages in case the first one doesn't work. Absolutely, man. You have to you have to huh. have option A, B, and C. You know. Yeah. And uh, you know, and it's it just thank you know, thankfully it it's been working. All right. Know? All right. So I got one more question for you. Some take home advice for anybody who's out there right now getting ready for whatever show is hopefully going to happen this season. <clears throat> Kenny, big blanket question here. What, what's the one thing that people should be doing right now in their post? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what the one thing people shouldn't be doing, okay? okay. Uh, which to me is more important. Um, 
I think people should stop watching videos on the internet learning how to pose. Huh, okay, okay. Because what's happening is, is that they're seeing people hitting poses that do not match up to their shape or genetics. Oh. And they're trying to be it without being it. Yeah. You know, you can't take, you know, you can't take somebody with, you know, a certain shape and you not having that shape and, but doing it because you like the way it looked on him yeah, or doing it because you like the way it looked on her. Yeah. And then you try to copy it. And if you do, it doesn't mean that it's going to look good on you. Sure. Sure. That's the biggest mistake I do. They don't pose to their genetics. Hmm. When you're watching these do these people uh, do the poses, okay, they're doing it for them. Yeah, they're not doing it for you. Yeah. So you like it, great. If you're lucky enough to be able to look similar to it, whatever, yeah, fine. But most of the time, it's a mismatch. Yeah. And most of the time, you're not going to hit it the same way that they do. Yeah. And um, they and that's part of being it, I man. That's part of like realizing that huh. you know. Look, if you want to see as like a base, like yeah. something to look similar, that's fine. But we're not going on stage to look similar. Mm. We're going on stage to look your absolute best yeah. for your absolute genetics, so you could bring your physique, individual physique, to its full potential and. Mm. Going on the internet and looking at pictures and stuff like that, that's not going to happen. I'm telling you, I see all the time. I mean, you know, when I'm working with somebody for the very first time and they show me stuff that so and so did or whatever, yeah, I'll say, okay, I let's try let's try it this way. Let's. I mean, I'll never knock them. Obviously, I'll sure. never make anybody feel bad. But I try to give them the different options, and then when they do see that it looks better on them, yes, Eureka, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can so see that. I, I can see that, especially like with classic, the cl like your favorite classic pose. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's you know, there's a lot of poses that like you need some phenomenal arms, for instance, to hit the myth pose. You know, and then there's a lot of things that you just maybe shouldn't be doing. Yeah, and that's definitely one of them. And and that's another thing that I think you know, um, like bodybuilders try like are coming up. Try not to emulate and try to do signature poses of oh. a certain person okay yeah because it ain't going to be there <laughs> yeah okay you know signature poses are made for specific individuals you hmm. know hmm. i mean when when sergio hits sergio jr uh hits his uh you know the, he nails it yeah you know he nails it but you know what he has a genetics yeah. the same you know what i mean he has those type of genetics where he can pull that off not a lot of people can do that because they don't have the genetics to do it. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? But, you know, but yeah, he, I mean, he looked incredible. When he did it at the Arnold, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, and he's growing yeah. into that too. Like him hitting yeah. it now looks a lot better than him hitting it 2018. Oh, you know? absolutely. Yeah. No, he's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better and better. It's, it's really cool to see. Yeah. Um, but, but like I said, you know, people try not to, do other people's signature poses. Hmm. You know, it's almost like going out and doing the music that Dorian Yates used to do in his Olympia. You know, that, uh, you know, that. Yeah, yeah. After he did and everybody else was doing it, it just, it's, it just paled in comparison so badly. So try not to do stuff like that huh. unless it looks really good and it fits your genetics. I love that. Be you yourself know? is what it's coming down to. Absolutely. And I guess that's the key, man, is play, you know, just any aspect of bodybuilding is play your strength, be it whether you're conditioning guy, a shape guy, whatever it takes to get in shape, you know, to, uh, you want to always play your strengths. And I'm just hearing that more now too. And the posing is what you're telling me. Well, you're, you're, you gotta, you gotta post your genetics. Yeah. You gotta post your genetics. You know what I mean? And, um, and that's really what it's all about, you know, and that's what makes it so individualized and that's what makes it so special and allowing me to be creative with that as well, you know. So if, if that's my pretty much answer to your question, I, I'm sorry I had to take it in another direction. I like it. No, but um, it's it's the most common thing. I mean, I see it all the time, uh, whether it's brought to me as, you know, posing coach or they try it, you know, on stage yeah. and you know so to me it's about looking your 100 percent best all the time on all poses you know and another thing i want to say yeah 
Um, one of my recommendations that I do, because a lot of people ask me about music. Oh, okay. Am I going too much? No, not at all, man. Dude, I, okay. I, I just, I'm happy to talk with you. I've wanted to talk with you forever. <laughs> uh, I, I want to hear anything you have to say. That's where okay, we're at cool. right now. Okay, so I'm going to address... <laughs> That's cool. I'm going to address posing music. Okay. Um, my advice to people with posing music is you got to keep the audience entertained. Yeah. Okay. You want to make it so it's memorable. Hmm. And the judges, the judges want to be entertained too. You hmm. know, they love good music. So what my recommendation is, is try to make it where everybody knows the song that you're posing to. I like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, again, it makes it memorable. It makes it enjoyable. People can relate to it. Judges can relate to it. You don't want to just pose to white noise. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it really brings out a lot. You know, of course, you want to do the beat or blah, blah, you know, stuff like that. Of course, you know. But um, the thing is, try not to make it where people don't know the music because then it becomes boring. Mm. Yeah. And people won't remember it. And, you know... Make it fun and entertaining. There, you know, the audience is there to be entertained, yeah. as well as seeing fun, uh, phenomenal physiques. But seeing phenomenal physiques is entertaining as well. So if you can combine yeah. a phenomenal physique or a great, you know, or a really good, you know, presentation of yourself and combine it with something that's entertaining and relatable, you got a double win there. Yeah, that that makes total sense to me. I've taken that in both directions. I've gone, I've gone and used a song that like. It wasn't very popular. It was like a B side, and I've decided you're, you know what, man? If you can, if they hear it, and they can start snapping their finger, you know, they know what it is. It connects immediately. You automatically kind of win people over when they're like, "Oh, I know that song." Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, because don't forget, you only get a minute up there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you only get a minute, so make that minute ev worth every single second of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? If if you're doing something that you know that's a minute nobody really knows or whatever and it's kind of like okay it was nice yeah and then the next song but, comes but on everybody make, knows and they're like okay you know and then they forget about absolutely you. yeah absolutely you know so it's, it's really that's another thing I, I i've come to see uh lately you know like when you go to a master's show yeah like the master's nationals that's where i have my most fun okay watching the routines because these you know the, they use the the songs that, that are popular yeah you know back then like classic rock or, oh yeah you know something you know mostly everybody poses to the classic rock stuff because that's what they know right right you know what i mean and everybody knows classic rock or, or something or really cool pop hit or whatever yeah you know so that's that's uh answer b Right on, man. To the question, you know. I think that man, that's, I really, that's good. Thank, I really enjoyed work, uh, talking with you. Me too, man. I, like I said, Kenny, I've wanted to talk to you for a long time, and I feel like I learned something today, and that's in that the communication thing that we talked about. I, I didn't know what it was going to be, but it, it, what we were going to do here, but it's just been like every time I've ever met you, from the time that I worked with you to every time I see you at a show, you just have this way of making people feel so good about themselves. And I've seen it, like I said, I felt it in myself. I've seen it in the people that I've I've coached, um, and that's a that's a really special thing, man. I, I I'm I'm glad that we have you in the bodybuilding world. I feel like you make bodybuilding a better place. I really do. I mean that from Thank the bottom you. of my heart, man. Thank you, Scott. That that means really the world to me. I uh, I, really I can't wait it. for things to open back up. I can't wait to to see you at a show. And guys, if uh, if you see Kenny at a show. Before the show starts, you know, if he's if he's look pacing around and stuff, leave him alone. But say hi to him. He's a nice guy. He's a friendly guy. And I'm sure he would be happy to talk with you. Am I right? Absolutely. All right. And uh, what is it? Posingbykenny.com? Yeah, posingbykenny.com. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there, you know. Beautiful, man. Guys, I highly suggest you reach out to Kenny. And uh, if this show hasn't convinced you, then I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Kenny Wallach, man, like I said, man, you're one of my favorite people, period. I was going to say in bodybuilding. Ditto, I'll just say Same period, you, man. And uh, I, I really appreciate your time. I hope that everybody else has enjoyed this. I know that I certainly have. Thank you, Scott. It was a pleasure for me. So thank you. Thanks, guys. For another episode of uh, Think Big Bodybuilding Media and Advices Radio, I'm with the one and only Kenny Wallach. We'll see you guys soon. Hmm. Take care, guys.